dear viewers, my name is Kunle Adetola. I'm the pastor of Fountain of Life, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God, based in Welling Garden City in the United Kingdom. It's my honor to present to you the Open Heavens Reflection today, based on the Open Heavens Daily Guide, written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. The topic before us today is Permanent Peace is Possible. Bible passage is found in Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 33. Immediately, Jesus went, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now when the, eve when the evening came, he was alone there, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea, tossed by the winds, for the wind was contrary. Now in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went to them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is high, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Our memory verse is found in Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Our reflection. At the point of salvation, there are so many things that God gives to us as part of the divine nature of God. God is the God of peace, and that is why His Son can be the Prince of Peace. Jesus told us in John chapter 14, verse 27, that the peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Don't let your heart be troubled, and do not be afraid. That is really reassuring. Jesus came to give us peace. Peace that the world cannot really understand. This is peace in the midst of adversity. Peace in the middle of storm. This, is, this peace can only come from Jesus. In the world we live in today, there are just too many things to be afraid of. Poverty, terrorism, hunger, natural disaster, so many things. We need to allow our heart to stay focused on Jesus and continue to trust in his word. Isaiah 23 verse 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. From our Bible passage of today, when the disciples saw Jesus walking on the sea, they were afraid, thinking that it was a ghost. However, he told them not to be afraid and that it was him. Jesus calmed them down and that busted Peter's confidence to trust, to be part of that experience. Everything went well until there was a boisterous wind and Peter began to be afraid and he then started to sink. Notice the sequence. There was a boisterous wind and Peter removed his gaze from Jesus and then he began to sink. If he had not removed his gaze from Jesus, he would not have had the experience of sinking. When our focus is on Jesus, whatever we face in life, we will not sink. Rather, we will be strong. But once we shift our focus away from Him, the peace that we enjoy and the confidence that it brings can disappear. The action point. I pray for every family that is experiencing storm to encounter the Prince of Peace and to receive his peace that is beyond understanding. That's my prayer for you. The Lord bless you. Have a great day. Bye for now.